Hey everybody, Aston here. Today I'm going to show you guys an alliance video on how to score big in alliance. The biggest complaint in alliance is uh, finding a match. You know, it takes too long to find a match, people don't play. The way I do it is I look for a match, I go to sleep, when I wake up in the morning, I'm usually at the character selection screen. So that's a pretty good tip right there on uh, how to find a match pretty fast. Another huge tip for alliance, this one's kind of serious, is uh, your teammate. It's the key to getting a big game in alliance. You know, between the you and your teammate, you have four abilities. So which abilities, who's going to use, how they're going to use it, who's going to stun who, who's going to kill who. All these things are a major factor in scoring big in Alliance. So a very, fairly long intro here. The reason I do this is the map gets very hairy, very fast, lots going on. So I want to explain things before they happen, give you guys an idea. In this video, I'm going to try to show this how to get a big game. This won't part particularly work against very experienced players, but you can use this, uh, these ideas and make them your own and adjust according to players who have more experience. So, but this should give you the basic premise of what you need to do to score a big alliance. In this game I think I score about 13,000, 12,500. Not my best game of the week, but a pretty solid score for my top three, which is I usually aim about over 12,000 for each three. And I, I was pretty lucky this week, but it took a few attempts to get it. So let's talk about abilities here. Um, smoke trumps all. Smoke is king, if you ask me. Uh, I'm sure there's different opinions out there. I'm sure there's people who use other abilities much better than I do. I like smoke. My teammate uses smoke. One of us uses rapid reload. One of us uses long lasting. You could do any combination of which. That's the way we prefer it. Poison is kind of iffy. If you're playing against experienced players, I would not use poison whatsoever. I would use mute. I think mute's the second best ability. But I use poison in this video. People we're playing with might not have played too much alliance yet. The problem with poison is when you poison your target, he can still kill his target, which isn't you, and that can you know, screw things up. So um, here we go. We are going to be the courtesans. Fathom Knight is my teammate in this particular video. The way it spawns you in Alliance is it's a triangle. Uh, an isosceles triangle, a red triangle, whatever triangle exists out there, that's how it spawns you. You geometry majors, go ahead and type in those triangles in the comments section. So I am not going to go for my target. I'm actually going to go for my pursuers. Most experienced players will wait. They'll wait for their pursuers to come to them. They'll stun those pursuers while killing their targets on the way. I actually chase my pursuers down. My targets on the left over here, I'm going to completely ignore my target. Going by this triangle system, my pursuers are either coming from over here on the right or the top left corner. I'm going to go look for my pursuers right now. I'm listening for whispers. I'm trying to find a big open area to uh, look for my target and play this stun game with right now. Uh, it sounds kind of strange, but looking for your pursuers will ends up paying at the end. S my teammate sees the first guy. He's going to go in with the mute right here. He mutes and stuns. And then this is when I come in. So he, we only use one ability here. The other guy, our other pursuer, just got shot. We only have one stun target. We're going to take turns stunning this guy. You have taken if you don't know how to play a stun game, stun. you can't stun a game twice in a row. Sometimes you can't align. But we take turns stunning. So Fathom Knight says, it's my turn to stun. I'm going to get the stun, drop the smoke, you get the kill. So he, now he gets a kill, and it's my turn for the yeah. stun. It's all about being unselfish if you want to get big points in Alliance. I know the kill with more points, but you got to do what's best for the team. Yeah. So over here, I'm going to drop my smoke, he's going to get the stun. Again, it's just very good coordination here. And this is how, this is how you score big in Alliance games. So Fathom gets the other guy down, and now we have two guys you know, in the stun session. This is really good. Um, very good for points. Once our, you know, once our targets come here, if we can kill them while keep this, keeping this going, then we're in a very good situation. A big mistake in here in Alliance, these guys are walking right next to each other. Although they split up, you never want to be that close to your teammates so you don't both get caught in smoke. Harry situation here, everyone's dropping smoke. I'm going to use my poison because this, this isn't going anywhere good. So I'm going to wait till things die down. So he's dead, he's dead. I'm going to get my kill, get my poison kill. Now I'm going to talk to Fathom, I'm going to tell him, hey, this is where I'm going, come there. I run to a, a nice open spot because that spot wasn't doing it for me. On this run, uh, this guy spawns semi in front of me, runs my way. Again, I'm not wasting any time here. I'm going to get this kill. Could have run up the wall, done an aerial. I didn't really know he's coming this way. I'm more, more worried about getting Fathom here. And if I kill that guy real quick, our pursuers can get to us pretty fast. And because they have less resistance, because there's one less guy to worry about right now because he's respawning. So it's, it's better to establish a good position. So we don't notice this guy here. See, there's one mistake. 
pretty big mistake right here. The first mistake make was that open area I found. It wasn't open enough. So I get the kill. Uh, here's this two two stun thing I'm talking about. In Alliance, sometimes, I would say 20% of the time, you could stun someone twice in a row without them being able to do anything about it, unless they have some kind of smoke or something. I don't know how why it's like that in Alliance. It's only Alliance, eh, but it works. Stand. Over here he gets up, he doesn't have a contract, he presses square, he's probably a little frustrated, and he kills a, uh, a civilian. Again, works works out of my benefit, so I got lucky there. So I give Fathom my lock over there, I notice that guy walking. Once Fathom gets his lock, I take my lock back off to the guy on the floor. Stand. So Fathom's gonna go for the new guy. And again, we're gonna try to play a stun session here. Um, situation gets hairy again, I'm gonna kill this guy. The other guy here gets shot from this roof, so this is the only target we have. I'm gonna run up there and try to kill him. He jumps down, get my aerial, unfortunately it's discreet. I know some of you guys are cringing at discreet. As am I, as am I. Um, running back here, and now we're gonna wait again. Uh, I pan to the left here to show you guys that column. I'm not a huge fan of that column on the left here. You can get aerialed. I don't like this spot, but this map, it's very hard to find a good spot. Over here, I run towards him, and then I run away. The reason I do that is to start a chase, and then drop smoke behind me. He'll end up in my smoke, one of us will get a stun, I'll get escape, rescue, close call, which will all help for my greater variety. It's a pretty good strategy if you can uh, master it, you'll get a lot of points doing it. Time's running out, so we just want to clean house here. He's got his targets, I have my target, and that's it. A good first round, I got 8300 points, I don't usually score that high in one round. It's hard to repeat that. Somebody leaves the game. If you leave an alliance game, you should be shot. Uh, you know, lethal injection, whatever, whatever they think is most appropriate. But it takes so long to find the game, and then people just leave mid-game. But I guess I don't blame them because you know we stun that guy a lot. I mean, he can't press triangle because alliance over here for some reason. I pressed the PS button. I'm just such a habit of doing it. Now we know our target started from the left, so we're gonna go find our targets. This is a huge mistake I make right here. I don't know why I slow down there, try and do the corner trick. My teammate dies, I go for the stun. I have an ability, I should use it here. I don't drop it thinking he doesn't see me. And I die. This is a big mistake. We both die, waste 40 seconds. A terrible spot, even if we got them on the floor. There's aerial four quarters around me. We should have just waited where we were. We got impatient, we got excited, we had a huge first round. And that's when things go wrong, is when you just, you know, you get impatient in Alliance. Alliance is all about patience, for me at least, is the way I score big. Done. So now we're playing stun session again with this guy. Uh, notice this guy over here, Fathom goes. I'm gonna drop smoke here, so Fathom has enough time to come back for his stun target. Most importantly, so we can stun them about the same time. So Fathom's gonna take his time stun stunning that guy, see, so just stun them. So we have enough time to go back and forth between both guys. That guy gets shot, so I'm gonna check the roof. There he is, right there. I'm not going to go after him, because it's my turn to stun. It's very important. Although this guy dies right now, it's very important to keep your stun target on the floor as long as you can. I mean, this guy, see, he comes to us anyway, so I would have got to kill him anyways. It's not a big deal. But if I went up there to chase him, Fathom would have probably died. I would have maybe not the guy, gone in a chase. Everything would have been messed up. We would have lost our position. you got to keep your position if you want to score big in Alliance. And if you can keep one spot continuously with action the whole game, that's the, then you've done the best you can do in an Alliance match. So I noticed a guy in the back over here, Fathom, uh, I think is going to take care of this guy. I'm going to stay here because it's my turn to stun. <laughs> I drop smoke for some weird reason. Done. He's going to use a gun. I'm going to run up to him. He's not aiming at me because I don't hear the gun sound on me. Done. And I could, I could hit him because he's not aiming at me and he doesn't have a lock on me. You should do that. If you see the gun's not at you and your teammate's about to get shot, quickly run up to him. You might get lucky like I did right there. It was, it was pure luck. And hit him before he shoot, shoots your teammate. Fathom's gonna look one way, I'm gonna look the other way here. This is important in Alliance, is it's like having four you know, eyes behind your head. I look one direction, Fathom's looking the other direction, and we're talking to each other, saying, hey, I'm this way, you're this way. By doing this, I'm watching the guy on the roof. Fathom is watching the other Heliquin who's trying to come, and we're talking to each other about who's where and what's what. I was expecting the, the haystack, and he did it. But when I come out of it, Fathom, you know, things got hairy. Fathom got shot. This Heliquin somehow makes it out of my smoke. Um, I'm gonna die here, so I'll, I'll just quickly talk about the smoke factor. You gotta know, lots of times I run into smoke thinking it's my teammates, it's the other teams. If you have a good teammate, or if you understand how your teammate works, or what his cooldowns are, you'll know when to stay away from the smoke. So, uh, mics help, obviously. But if you don't have a mic, just remember last time he used smoke, last time he used it, all these things, and that should help you. 
Another huge mistake I make here. Same spot, I got no cooldowns. I'm going after the person going after me. And I die in the same uh, terrible spot that I died in last time. I wasted, between this and the last death, I wasted maybe a good minute. And in, in a minute in the alliance is huge, only eight minute match. match so a minute can be 2,000 points sometimes. So over here I am, I see this guy after me, I'm gonna drop smoke. I have 30 seconds, so I wanna get this poison off. There's a guy up there on my far left, if you see him, he's running. I don't have anything to get him. I don't want to start a chase right now. I'm not in the mood to get a stun. I, I definitely need to get this poison off. Uh, discreet poison. People hate him. I don't like him either, but sometimes the situation calls for it. This guy was going to run away. My meter was low. I'm getting shot. So all these situations. I could have got shot faster. If I waited for my silent, I could have got shot. I didn't have a streak bonus going, so I didn't need to get a silent kill. If I got a silent poison, it was only going to be 150 more points. It's not worth blowing a 450 point kill over 150 points. Whoa, sorry, lots of talking, Alliance, lots going on. So I end up with about 12-5 in this match. Pretty happy with it for my top three scores. It's a never-ending fight for uh, co-op Templar mode. A little bit of a bonus clip here while I finish my <laughs> never-ending commentary. I do apologize, but there's so much to talk about in Alliance with so much going on. The Manhome one, I promise I'll try to uh, shut up a little bit more <laughs> and let the video play out for itself a little better. Um, give me a thumbs up, please, if you liked the video. I really appreciate those. Thanks for the good feedback on the last video. I'll get a manhunt one up right away. When I say right away, um, when I'm in the mood to edit another video. This one took a while. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Um, have a good day, and I will see you guys soon.